tagging ho! So, um, oh, it's quite remiss of me, this one. I was tagged into a video. Uh, there was a lot of tagging going on. Uh, three months ago in February, uh, where moto vloggers were tagging other people in their videos to answer 10 questions. Things like, when did you start riding? What motorbike do you have? What have you ridden? What did you ride beforehand? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm finally going to reply. Phil 480, uh, splendid chap, uh, tagged me in his version, his video, and so I need to, um, I need to do a reply. Really, I do, I do. I need to do a reply. So um, I think question one was when did you start riding a motorcycle? Um, depends what you coin motorcycle. Um, first time I rode something with two wheels and a motor was a little sort of moped that had pedals on it when I was about nine around a mate's garden um, and we had to dodge sheep and stuff and uh, that was quite exciting and I remember stalling it lots and uh, not really understanding clutches and things like that um, but no it was really good fun uh, that's what uh, that's that's that however uh, other than that about four years ago um, I did my direct access course about four years ago, at the age of 32. Um, I feel that if I'd had a motorbike in my 20s, I wouldn't have made it to my 30s. Uh, but uh, obviously that's a conjecture, so not really sure. So yes, I did that. Uh, what happened was, long story, I think I've probably gone through this before. I was getting a bit peed off with my commute and a friend of a friend had dropped his old 600 Suzuki Bandit and uh, seven years previously and had just left it in his mother's back garden. Now, his mother wasn't particularly happy about this uh, and it was uncovered and uh, she wanted rid of it, you see. For 50 quid, I hired a van or a man with a van and he uh, picked the bike up. It was in shoddy state. It had been uncovered for seven or eight years in the back garden. It had been red, it was now white uh, due to the paint fading uh, and it was one of the originals it was an n so it's 1995 bandit s so the first year of the bikini fairy over the next 18 months in a friend's garage i did the bike up and uh, replaced a few parts stripped the engine down started again uh, redid all the carbs they'd got furred up from the petrol evaporating in them and leaving deposits the fuel tank was rusty in the bottom so uh, Took that apart, um, sandblasted it. Uh, it hadn't rusted through, so that was all right. Sandblasted it and uh, started again. Needed a new fuel tap as well. All rubber hoses, uh, fork seals, shock seals. Uh, anything rubber had perished, basically. The plastics were either replaced or repainted. Um, and yes, after 18 months, I got it through its MOT uh, and I passed my direct access course. I rode that for five weeks. Uh, so officially it's my first bike uh, and uh, I then traded it in, part exchanged it, uh, let me think. It cost me three or four hundred pounds to put together and get through its MOT, that's including the hiring of the van initially, and I part exchanged it for 700 pounds. So there we go, that's a good little bit of money back. For a second-hand Street Triple, uh, Triumph Street Triple, it was a 09 plate I believe, uh, and it... Uh, 2009 675cc street triple two of my friends had street triples because what was one of them and uh, badger sensei he had the other uh, and i rode it and thought bloody hell this is a great bike so uh, i had that for 11 months it had only done 2000 miles um when i bought it but it uh, i did something like 25,000 miles in 11 months on it <laughs> uh, then my son was born uh, and I decided that uh, it was too fast, too dangerous for me um, because I was being egged on by its amazing handling to uh, lean over as much as I could on roundabouts and things like that. And uh, I had nasty premonitions of uh, not quite making it around a roundabout, falling off, sliding under a lorry coming the other way. So I um, got rid of that for Thrusty Mark 1. And Thrusty Mark 1... Uh, I had for nearly two years, certainly the bike I had the longest, uh, and I loved that bike to bits. However, after two years, I got a bit 
And you can go through my videos and find all this out anyway, but uh, after a couple of years, I got a bit bored of the power. I'd done everything I could to it uh, without spending thousands of pounds on the engine to make it perform as much as I wanted it to, but still lacked a certain oomph. And so I uh, got a Thunderbird Storm. <laughs> 1700cc parallel twin. Ridiculous machine, but great fun. Unfortunately, uh, it's designed, the position on it is designed for just relaxing, chilling out, relaxing out, cool, and shooting some people outside of the school. Um, I w it sort of hurt my lower back because I was throwing it around so much because I was using my body so much to get it around corners and things. And so uh, I got the Tiger instead in September and uh, did 6,000 miles on that. And now I've got this Thrusty Mark II. Who, because of the number plate, the number plate, uh, the last three letters of the number plate are Zulu Papa Echo. Um, so I'm tempted to call it Zippy because uh, it zips along nicely. Could be fitting because it will go with the bike, but it is, a, it is a thrusty. It is a thrusty Mark II. So uh, we'll see what I end up calling it. Oh, <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> Ah, instant power. I've got it in sport mode now, since I've done 500 miles of them. <laughs> yeah, I've put it in sport mode, but it still hasn't got proper oil in it, so I've got to be careful. Now, I need to find somewhere to stop to uh, look at the other questions. Uh, so it's, when did you start riding a motorbike? What motorbikes did you ride? Uh, what got you into it? Well, it was because I didn't want the car park on the A40. That was pretty dull. Um, commuting. And I saw these motorcyclists going through and I thought, bastards! And then I remembered that uh, it was legal. And I thought, I want a piece of that. That's not fair. I'm going to have to do that. Uh, so yes, that's how I got into that. But uh, the rest, as I say, is history. Yes. Mm. History. History. Well, that's basically answered quite a few. So the next one is, uh, what is your dream bike? Um, this. This is my dream bike. Huzzah! It's, uh, it's everything I've wanted. It looks amazing. It's got all the power I could possibly want. Um, it's got ABS traction control. It sounds good. It looks good. It goes easily. It's got all the special suspension that I've coveted for a couple of years. Um, yeah, love it. This is my dream bike. I now have it. Question answered. Next question. Off-road or street riding? Well, it has to be street riding, really, because I've tried off-road and I was shit at it. <laughs> uh, obviously need some more practice. Um, just um, blatant bravado isn't enough. <laughs> bravado and stupidity only gets you a certain distance. <laughs> Dream motorbike. What got me motor-vlogging? Uh, the Baron Von Grumble got me motor-vlogging. Um, he said in one of his early videos, oh, it's coming up for my two-year anniversary. In fact, it's probably, it's about now, isn't it? Two years. I think it was May the 17th or something, May the 19th. That uh, was my first vlog. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, happy two-year anniversary to me. Huzzah! Uh, what got me motor vlogging? Well, uh, yes, Baron Von Grumble, he mentioned in one of his early vlogs, one of the reasons he started was because whilst riding his motorbike, he would get road rage. He'd get angry at other people. And obviously, if you're videoing it, um, you're less likely to be... Uh, instant in your rage. So uh, I thought, hang on a second, yes, that might calm me down a bit, and uh, I'm frightfully silly, uh, so it mi I might be uh, I might be a little bit popular, you never know. Um, so that's what got me into it. Um, so a mixture of vanity and a mixture of common sense. Um, so that was the idea. Um, that's what got me starting. Uh, and uh, the next question was, when did you start? Well, I just said that two years ago. Ah, what moto vlogs do I subscribe to? Uh, too many, <laughs> too many. Um, uh, I subscribe to some people out of loyalty. I subscribe to some people out of um, genuine interest and humor. <clears throat> um, people like Phil 480, uh, Baron Von Grumble, 
um, the Missenden Flyer, people like that, I uh, watch out of uh, interest, curiosity, Skeggy Cruiser, uh, Wyvern Biker, Calm Biker, um, all of that lot. Um, I got watching them by commenting on other people's videos, they'd then reply to my comments, then I'd check them out and see what they were all about. And So that little community side of it, I watch all of those chaps when I can. The main ones, I suppose, are people like Smo, Red Renner, Baron from Grumble, uh, Lammy, Lammy Isle of Wight, uh, Lamb Chop Rides. Uh, oh gosh, he did one the other day. Uh, Lamb Chop Rides did one the other day of uh, his top five favourites. Apparently I'm joint sixth. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you, Lamb Chop. Um, <laughs> that's one way of getting out of it. Uh, but the... Um, There are quite a few who I like. Uh, and also I've met quite a lot. Um, I've met the Baron, I've met Smo. In fact, I met the Smo and, I met Smo and the Baron on the same day. Uh, it was basically a great big wet dream, really. Um, apology, don't, seriously, don't, uh, I hope no one's pride is hurt if I haven't mentioned them. Um, I do follow so many people. Uh, I try to follow new moto vloggers as well. I like to um, keep up to date with different content, different editing styles. Some people's editing is just phenomenal. Lamb Chop Rides, I mean, for an old bastard, his editing thing is brilliant. <laughs> and Red Renners is just hysterical. I love her animations. Um, I understand that they take a very long time, so she stops doing them so much um, now because she'd much rather be riding, which is fair cop, really. Uh, I think there's one other question. Oh, I'm going to nip through here. La 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 la, watching out for nails. La 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 la. Woohoo! Uh, this thing in sport mode is just ridiculous. Whee! Uh, I'm going to have to check my phone for the last question, I think. Now, this is Ivinghoe. It's very pretty. I've, I've, I like that house. I've always liked that house. The brickwork is just so old, but the pointing is so straight. It's just such a phenomenally well built house. So, eh. People are going to wonder what I'm talking about and who I'm talking to. <laughs> uh, so, here we go. When did you start riding motorcycles? Done. Why did you start? Done. Which was your first motorcycle? Done. How many did you ride? Five? What is your dream bike? I'm on it. Off-road or street? Street. Have you ever fallen off or had an accident? Ooh, whilst off-roading, hence street riding. <laughs> That's, by the way, in the videos. You can't miss it. Uh, that was the Tiger green laning. When did you start motovlogging covered? Which motovlog channels do you subscribe to? Does your bike have a name? Well, that's everything. Does your bike have a name? Uh, well, we've discussed that. Thrusty 2, <laughs> or just Thrusty for short, uh, or Zippy. I haven't decided yet. Uh, we shall get back to that. Um, so thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Hope this has been of some interest. It's obviously not as much fun as my reviews. Uh, next review coming up. I haven't ridden it yet, so uh, I'm just guessing. But next review will be the Tiger Sport. Uh, what I might do is they've still got my old Tiger. I might ride that for 20 minutes or so. So that I, I can get used to that again and then give a proper comparison with the new Tiger Sport. Or I'll just ride the old Tiger Sport and then the new Tiger Sport. And uh, we'll go from there. Uh, I feel I was quite unfair on the old Tiger Sport when I rode it. It was in January last year. Uh, nasty, wet, greasy roads. Couldn't unleash the full speed triple engine. Um, so uh, it'd be interesting to do it now since I've spent a few months riding my own Tiger 800. So it'd be quite fun, I think. Uh, so Tony Bally Ho, thanks for watching and ta ta! Ah, tagging other people, that's going to be tricky because lots of people did it at the time. Most of the people I know and I know would be watching this video <clears throat> will have already done it. I'm, gonna, I'm going to uh, nominate Badger Leader Bigglesworth because uh, he needs to get a proper vlog up. Possibly about something that's more entertaining than his silly street triple. Uh, <laughs> who? I mean, Skeggy's done it, Calm's done it, Wyvern Biker's done it. Uh, I think Hepcat Harley's done it. I think Woman Wolf Rider's done it. 
Benny Boy Bike has done it. Suznet's done it, I think. Uh, I think I watched him do it. Uh, Harley Man! There we go, because he hasn't done a vlog for a while. I'm going to sponsor Harley Man. Not a sponsor. Yeah, that involves money. Nominate Harley Man. And who else? Uh, the Missenden Flyer! I don't think he's done it. So I shall nominate the Missenden Flyer as well. Tally Bally Ho! Bye!